Um, if you're a company, you process the information of uh, your customers, you need this. Most of the time, you do not need this template, but um, what I'm saying is most country, they have a privacy um, authority and they will give you template that you need because it meets the requirement of the local law. But if you don't have any template and you don't know where to start, you can use this one. The reason I'm saying this is because um, this is the general one. It doesn't say it doesn't meet the requirements of your country, but it missed some specific things for specific country because you cannot put every country in one document. You cannot do that. But if you have an organization and even if it's collecting data from customer or small group of customer, you need to protect their privacy. And when the information in your company, when it get hacked, when your system get hacked or other stuff, you have a problem if you don't know how to respond. Because sometimes they will tell you, hey, when there's a data breach, you need to um, make sure you um, tell the authority about it within certain kind of minutes, um, hours. And if you don't do that, you can get a fine. And that's the thing. And this isn't a template that you can use. But for example, if you are in America or in Europe, look at the country, there will be a privacy authority. They have on the website which you need to do the rules and you can get the privacy response um, policy, if I'm correct. If not, you can use this one and you can apply it with the rules of your own um, country. If you have questions about it, feel free to ask me, but I'm not going to discuss all these things with you, but I'm just showing you that data breach response, you need to have it for your company. Because when something goes wrong, you don't want to get a fine from the privacy authority. That's what I'm saying.